The first insight or generalization is that demography is no longer destiny. It once was, there was a place for everybody, everybody in their place. I'm a boy, by the way, from Bruce County, Walkerton, Ontario. You've heard about that place, and of course, I was, it's a wonderful place, town of 2,000. That's why our surveys only ever have 2,000 people in it, because when I grew up, that was the universe. Uh, but a statistician told me I have another good reason for using samples of 2,000. They are representative of the whole country. But anyway, when I grew up, of course, demography was destiny, Catholic, Protestant, man, woman, your age, all of these things. Once you knew what those demographic characteristics were, you knew exactly what was motivating that person, what they were all about. That has changed. Secondly, social values have replaced those demographic imperatives. And what I've done with that Sex in the Snow book and others is to talk about how social values are changing and how we've evolved social values tribes in this country. And uh, you can get elders who are rational traditionalists, they produce baby boomers who are autonomous rebels, who can produce children who are new Aquarians and aimless dependents, all in the same family. The idea that you and your spouse, you and your kids, <laughs> you and your parents have the same values, no, you're often going to find that within a family, within a very close-knit unit, in fact, people can have very different motivations. I know in the case of some parents, they say, okay, <laughs> okay, we got our daughter launched, now, now our son, you know, that aimless dependent, did you drop him and didn't tell me? These kinds of questions come up. <laughs> and, and so we have a, quite a range, and a lot of people actually feel a connection often, and they use the internet to do this, to connect with people outside their immediate social surroundings who actually are people more like them, their own community of values and interests. And of course, that's that, what that wonderful new instrument, the internet, is allowing us to do with people around the world. Third big picture conclusion from my research is that values are changing. And it's not just in Canada where values are changing. It's around the world uh, among the six billion people on this planet. Of course, changing values can lead to a conflict of values. And I disagree with some who think we're talking about conflict of civilizations. What we're really talking about, typically, are conflicts within, social, uh, within civilizations, from tradition to moder modernity to post-modernity. That, to me, is going to be the story of the 21st century. Um, the Values Canadians, well, this, this gets to my current book, this Fire and Ice book. Uh, the values of Canadians are emerging as increasingly distinct in the world, in some ways we have the values of the Americans, in other ways we have the values of the Europeans. Uh, what is interesting about us is that we've got some of those European kind of values, but in a multicultural society, which in fact makes us quite unique. You'll often see Canada compared to Norway, Sweden, and some of these northern European countries, but remember those, those countries have uh, ethnic uh, uh, homogeneity, we have an incredible amount of heterogeneity, which makes the story of Canada's success even more remarkable. What I have found, again, it's kind of controversial, but in my latest book, when I look at the surveys we've done in 1992, 96, and 2000, I'm finding an increasing divergence with the United States. And this is interesting, it's counterintuitive because we're doing increasing trade, we're, doing in, we're increasingly inundated with American popular culture. Um, and, uh, and I guess, of course, you remember that famous election in 1988 when John Turner said, if you trade with these people, the border's gone and we'll be in inexorably become Americans. What I'm finding is that you can have a lot of technology, you can have a lot of economic interaction, um, but you can become different and distinct in your social values. This is counterintuitive. I think it's very important. Um, and it is something that I think you all um, are aware of and, uh, and, uh, and, and realize that this, this kind of thing is, is going on in our society. Um, and finally, Canadians have evolved, and I guess this is my big picture about social change in Canada, from deference to institutional elites. Of course, the way we put the country together was deferring to the boys getting together um, uh, you know, a subsidy for this one, a railroad for that one. They gave us our country, and most of us didn't even know what they were doing. That's kind of the way it was. We are characterized as the counter-revolutionaries. We didn't join the American colonies who were in revolt. We decided to stay under the crown. We decided that the church would have a very important role, uh, in particular in Quebec. 
we have evolved from that, those people who, for whom politics was elite accommodation and brokerage politics to people who are now asserting their own autonomy, their own choice, uh, and their own personal control. And what it means for those of us, and I remember a few years ago people were saying, oh my god, they're going so radically in that direction that they're going to disintermediate all sorts of folks. Well, what you're finding is that that disintermediation was much overstated. And in fact, what we're, because we cannot be experts in every area of our life. For our health, uh, yes, we know we are primarily responsible, our diet and exercise and so on, but we do have doctors. Uh, they're a trusted intermediary. Um, when it comes to our money, which is <laughs> extremely important to all of us, we're not all disintermediating. What we're doing is looking for trusted intermediaries because we've got busy lives. And we can't be expert in all the things that you people can be expert in. We're looking for someone who can earn our trust. And those are the kinds of insights that I want to impart uh, with you today.